Hello, I'm Mr. Matthews, and I have here a box of Famicom games that I bought off eBay for a, a very good price. Uh, perhaps a little too good, uh, considering some of the games here in this box. Uh, to be honest, the seller didn't really have a whole lot of good pictures, and they didn't have a very good description either. And I didn't ask any questions either. I just saw a picture of the games, and I clicked buy it now. Uh, so to be honest, I don't really know exactly what I'm going to be getting in here. Uh, but as much as it is the seller's responsibility to make it clear what they are selling, it's ultimately the buyer's responsibility to know what they are buying. So if I have any disappointment in here, uh, I take that all on myself. That's, that's my bad, and I will take my lumps. So let's open this box up, uh, keep your fingers crossed, and I'll see what we got. Okay, the first game we got is Ice Climber and Star Soldier and Twin B. And this is Twin B1, uh, not Twin B2, which we got in the States as Stinger. A very raggedy copy of F1 Race. A Donkey Kong Jr. 1942. There's a good one. A Goonies 2. Uh, I was talking to Freezing Infernos about this. Uh, Ghosts and Goblins. Uh, I do not like this game, uh, but I did hear that the Famicom version was different, so I was curious to try it out. So I guess now we will see if the uh, NES version actually is easier, as I've heard. Let's see, Mighty Bomb Jack. Mahjong, I already have that one. Uh, I've tried playing this game, um, I don't get it. <laughs> Dragon Quest IV, uh, I bet this is a good game, but there's no way in hell I'm going to be playing it. I don't read Japanese. And here's one I was actually after, uh, Nuts and Milk. Um, it, it, it looks good. And this game, I actually made a list of these titles and I've left my list in the other room, so there you go. Here's another one of these games. Baseball game. Gradius. I believe this is part of the uh, Ninja Kun series. 
Um, I think we only got one here in the States, Ninja Kid. Taito baseball game. Dragon Quest 3. Probably won't be playing that one either. Okay, so here are the games that I'm uh, a little iffy on. Uh, these are box games. Uh, he did not show the cartridges to these games, so I don't know whether these are complete or if they're just empty boxes. So, uh, here we go. There's a game inside this. It's uh, Dragon Ball Z. Who cares about that one though? Uh, Icky. That's what it looks like on the back. Final lap in a clamshell case. That is freaking cool. Uh, would be a little cooler if it had the the manual. But I love that it actually has a little little pocket there for the manual. Uh, Excite bike, and I love that this one kind of has a design of uh, like a Game and Watch box. What are the odds that it actually has the manual in it? Slim. Very yellow. This game I haven't even heard of. Thexter by Squaresoft. I can't even tell from the back what kind of game this is. Uh, but Squaresoft made some good games uh, before Final Fantasy, right? And Super Mario Brothers. Let's see if this one has a manual. Probably not. Nope. That's what the cart looks like, though. Uh, I am very relieved to find that these actually uh, have games inside the boxes. I honestly was not sure. I was willing to take the risk because uh, this all averaged out to about. Uh, probably just under five dollars a game. I've been trying to beef up my Famicom collection. I was mainly after the Konami titles, um, Donkey Kong Jr. Uh, Donkey Kong Jr. and Nuts and Milk was the other one I was really after, and also uh, I'll admit, Ghosts and Goblins uh, was a big one for me. I uh, wanted to get this game by itself, but by itself it goes for about fifteen dollars which is more than I was willing to pay for that game. So here is the games that came in the box. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'm Mr. Matthews, goodbye. <laughs>